Hi, and welcome to a very special edition of Tea with Tuan. Instead of a recorded Skype conversation, I decided to meet with my interviewee, a special guest all the way from Africa, Princess Torello from the Royal Baffle King Nation, here to talk to us about an amazing project that you have with the NBA and the students in your nation. So welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. So tell us a little bit about this project, uh, this year-old project with the NBA. The NBA project started, it was something that was started within the nation um, about a year ago. And it was basically to bring kids, several schools in the community, to, to learn to play basketball. But I think also, it was also to like kind of help them to stay off the streets so they've got activities afterwards. But the project has worked so well in the schools. The kids have really taken a, a keen interest into the whole basketball thing, and it's going really, really well. And we've got like three coaches, all from the US, who were used to play and retired, and they're basically there to train the kids. I know the big sport is rugby and soccer um, in Africa. So why do you think the kids took such a liking to basketball? Yeah, rugby and soccer is huge in South Africa. But I think the NBA is so organized and the program is so organized. And I think they've also got, aside from the actual sport, I think the mentoring with the coaches, the kids, I think, feel quite open to talk to the coaches. So, and somebody, I think somebody cares so and has got an ear for them. So I think that's why they kind of gravitate to do basketball. And do you think that they also uh, struck a chord with the kids because the, the, somebody actually paid attention to them and they have role models that they see that are successful? No, for sure, definitely. I think that, you know, the, the, the coaches, um, you know, when the kids probably need something or need help, I think they make time um, to, to sit with the ki kids and chat with the kids. You know, and I think the coaches have probably done a good job by telling the kids the, the great you know, opportunities over and above just playing basketball. There's the education factor. There's a whole different you know, things that the kids can, can take out of it. There's um, teamwork. There's teamwork. Working, there's just yeah. working together, um, self-confidence, self-esteem, believing in yourself. What inspires you to help these kids that are so hungry for that attention? Is it something that happened in your history? I think I just, you know, I, I, I've, I've taken a decision. I think I, I really got bored with everything that I was doing and I, I could feel that there was a lot more that I needed to do for, for society and especially for young kids. I think if we groom them right, you know, from a young age, we, we build a better future for our countries. So, because I've been so blessed and I've had so many opportunities and I think we all have a purpose on, on, on the earth, on, in the world. So, I know my purpose is to like reach out to people and make a difference. And what is your message to the people, um, the kids out there? I think most importantly, it's just to tell kids as hard as it is, we all um, go through tough times, challenges, um, circumstances, and we tend to learn to like give up quickly. But I think when you fall, it's how to find a way of rising. You know, I think once you can define how you rise, that's what's going to define who you're going to become. But it's all about just never giving up and just continually just being persistent and persistent and until you reach your goal. How critical is it for a program like this to be in the schools? I think it's really important because I think it also just keeps, you know, aside from the fitness aspect, I think it's important that kids get a lot of physical activity because um, it kind of really motivates the mind, keeps them healthy and um, keeps them doing things as opposed to being destructive outside of school when they don't have anything to do. So is it an after-school program and how, what does the program look like? Yeah, it's an after-school program where the kids, after they've come from school, they come um, to the basketball courts and then they basically train. Um, I think it's like a couple of hours, two, three hours, and then they train and then after they go home. What changes have you seen in the kids in the last year or since this program has been launched? The talent, there's a lot of talent. I mean, we, I mean, the first thing I ask the coaches and I say to them, but we don't have a lot of tall people, but they say that's not really the point. You know, I think it's how skilled you are and how quickly you can adapt to those skills. And I think they have found um, great talent out there.
I mean, the way that the program is so structured, I think there's probably a lot of, you know, the kids I think have developed a lot of confidence and belief in, in themselves and that they can capable of doing this. And just the whole, I think, with the coaches who take time to mentor the kids, even if it's during or after, but they always make time for those kids. And I think that really is special for the kids because somebody actually listens to them mm -hmm. and gives them an ear and does something about it. What have you learned from giving? I don't know, it's, it's just, you know, I, I don't even think it's all about learning. Um, it's just, it, it just feels good. You know, when you make a difference and you can make somebody smile and you can make somebody happy, um, and I think it's something that everybody needs to do globally, worldwide, start, you know, start to learn to give because I think if we all do it, um, we'll have a better, a better world. I can cheers to that. Cheers to that. <laughs> I understand that you also want to um, expand on a bigger project as yeah. well. Can you talk about that? Yeah, I think, you know, the NBA being kind of... Um, a different project because it's not really directly my project well it's it's in the community that I come from but because this works so well with what I plan to do in the future is to obviously hopefully bring them on on board um, as partners um, which is something that I think we'll discuss in the near future what do you hope that the kids will get from it I just think that you know once the program starts I just want the kids to really um, learn to to be themselves and to really, it's all about just confidence, it's all about believing in yourself, it's all about being kind and caring and, and doing what's good, you know, for you and for everybody else around you. So it's really finding the authenticity yes. and also realizing your power. Yeah, that you have. Yeah, because yeah. you and I have had several conversations about discovering your power and how everybody has a power that they can give. Yes, yeah. Everybody, yeah, I think everybody does have something within, you know, and it's all about you finding it and discovering it. And I want the kids to know that they also have, you know, powers within. They've mm -hmm. got um, things that dreams and visions and purposes that they need to fulfill. Mm -hmm. But it's all about finding it and helping them to believe in that, mm -hmm. you know. So how can people watching help you in your new project, in your mission? I just really want to find people that really have the heart to want to give and I want people to get involved um, to come and help in whatever projects like you know we're looking at like doing infrastructure, environmentally um, sustainable, sustainable buildings, buildings yeah. and really structuring the school so that when the kids come to school they have like a sense of pride so mm -hmm. I'm really looking for people that you know have this passion that want to mm -hmm. come do that um, and help yeah. you know thanks for joining me thank you for tea. <laughs> yeah